President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received the phone call from the Qatari Amir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Presidential spokesman Bassam Muradi said that the Qatari Amir offered greetings to President al-Sisi, marking Eid al-Adha or the Greater Bayram, and wished all the progress and prosperity to Egypt and its people. The President expressed thanks to Prince Tamim and wished for the Qatari people and all the Arab peoples all the goodness, peace and welfare. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi exchanged the greeting cables with the heads of state and the Arab and the Islamic nations, marking Eid al-Adha. The President expressed hearty wishes of blessings and prosperity to those nations and said he hopes the spirit of solidarity and cohesion to prevail among the Arab peoples in order to realize a better future for the entire Arab world and to the Muslims across the globe as well. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi greeted the Egyptians abroad on the occasion of Eid al-Adha feast. In a greeting message carried by the Egyptian embassies and consulates, the President sent his warm wishes to the Egyptians abroad, asking God to grant them health and happiness on the holy occasion. President Assisi also received greeting cables from the Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and the prominent statesmen on the occasion. Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmad al tayyib also greeted the head of state and the Egyptians marked the occasion. Head of the National Media Authority, Hussein Zain, also sent similar greetings to President Assisi on the Greater Bayram, wishing success for the wise leader in continuing the development and construction of a civil and democratic strong modern state for achieving a better future for Egypt and its people. First Lady Mrs. Intasada Sisi congratulated the Egyptian people and the Arab nation on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, wishing them peace and prosperity. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi expressed his deep sadness and sincere condolences and sympathy to the Japanese people on the death of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. President Assisi said that the late ex-Japanese Prime Minister was an exceptional leader and the friend of Egypt who supported the development process in the country in light of the Egyptian-Japanese distinguished ties. The head of state prayed to God to bestow upon his family patience and solace and that Japan continues the path of progress. Minister of uh, International Cooperation Dr. Ronyal Mashad participated in the International Development Agency Summit, which was held in Senegal. Addressing the summit on behalf of President Abdel Fattah Hassisi, the minister said that the upcoming climate change conference, the COP27, which Egypt will host in November, will focus on the development of the challenges in Africa. She added that the conference will also address the joint cooperation to boost the green transformation in the continent. 